Hello, we are the Cobalt Cafe, and this is another episode of Shards of the Void, a fantasy adventure using GURPS 4th edition. I'm Luke, the GM, and with us today, in no particular order, we have James. Hey, I'm James. I'm playing Jakku Barney. And yeah. I'm terrified. Um, mm -hmm. We've got Simon. Hello, that's me. I play Sigmund. Uh, I play the former leader of a small mercenary band, a tactician, now turned father, now also turned how even dealing with this stuff. I'm terrified as well. Uh, we've got Terra. Hello. I'm playing Orn, the spundiferous, magnificent crystal jeweler librarian rock creature That's I could bigger Orn she's, bigger Orn. she's tiny I am tiny I'm so about the size of a football but I'm smart and amazing and I'm not afraid because there aren't any spiders or lizards yet everyone gathered up on camera look at that uh, we've got Everoth oh. hello everyone I am playing Ulrich the Burbard uh, more than ready for this incoming invasion. Uh, wish us luck. Yeah, if you say so. Uh, and finally today we've got Z Warrior. Hey, I'm Z Warrior. I'm playing Spot, the Vert Alchemist, and I am not ready for this fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we would normally also have Jared playing Tabra, the Magician. Uh, but today his role will fall to me to attempt to play. Uh. I know what he's up to. The person who's normally in control of me has spoken to the person who's in control of everything else. And without further ado, let's get going. A brief recap from last session. Uh, you've been chasing a witch. A witch with stolen taxes. A lot of them. Uh, and you've been chasing a north for almost a week now um you learn that she stole a fresh horse in the last town and fled pretty swiftly when you got to this town they'd not even seen her it's unclear if she'd passed through or not uh you kind of got to bed because it was pretty late when you arrived and in the morning there were hundreds of refugees arriving from the north uh they looked haggard some were severely wounded most dazed and shocked uh, the few that could speak any sense reported a hellish army of demons emerging from the rivers coming down out of the mountains laying waste to the town slaughtering innocents left and right uh, and yeah a lot of the townsfolk kind of started panicking Decided we don't want to stick around here, seeing as this is one town over where this has happened. And a bunch of people are leaving right now. You've kind of wedged yourselves in on a conversation of the town guard. Uh, the captain of which is adamant on staying to defend the keep. Uh, most of you seem to think that's a dumb idea though. And without further ado, let's bring it back in. Captain Bronnell has been taking suggestions and agreed that, that we had a bit of psychologisms from the uh, the Orn at the end of last session. A decent success by seven there. And mm, she's... You see the problem we him for sure, Orn. He's proud. He's got a stupid sense of duty to this place, but he does seem willing to at least not force his men to all die as well. Uh, you're muted. I am muted. Yeah, that was the whole point, was trying to convince them if they wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. To let them go. I, I've got no problem with the men leaving. Those of you who haven't got the guts to stand, stand and defend the keep may leave. Yes, uh. those of you who value your lives may leave. 
everyone's kind of looking at each other a minute. And just like, uh. The rest of you may die like the fools that you are. That's said. And, and I, I make a... Can I make a fast talk roll to convince them to go with the people instead of defending buildings? Uh, Group yeah. at large? Yeah. I think Jaku okay. just kind of mentioned something, you know, if, if, if you're having doubts now that you can't shake, like, it's best to leave because when this goes down must be firm uh yeah a fair few of them step forward like is that more than half just more than half i think don't uh, you have a better education system than us oh <laughs> <laughs> apparently not <clears throat> we will go with the people and protect their journey south there are bandits in the wilds and this lot could not hope to defend themselves from it, so, Captain, apologies, but we will defend the people and not this keep. He just... Uh, off with you, then. With my fast talk, by the way, I tried to make it sound really noble that they'd go with the people. Yeah, they... They, uh... A few of them kind of just... Uh, like, what's this... What's this rogue talking about? But at the same time, you know, they already don't want to go. And you definitely convinced a couple of them there, I think. But off they go. Do you have a trebuchet? Mm, no. But there is a ballista. Forgot to add the ballista to the map. How many people does it take to operate the ballista? Mm. You usually need a shooter Probably or a forward one spotter. if it's loaded. <laughs> well, yeah. one person to shoot, but you need another person to spot for you. And, and another to load? And, like, two people to load it. Yeah, so that's four. We could have enough to group up the ballista. And do you have a... Oops. Exactly how long the ballista takes. I, I mean, ballistas are, are awesome, but, like, that's just an advantage. We don't want to... It's just one too ballista. Much of, yeah, mm -hmm. like... And it, it only takes one person to man it, but it takes 45 seconds to reload it. What if... Uh, sorry. And my next question was, do you have a spyglass? Uh, no, those don't exist, unfortunately. Yeah, we were checking that later. Uh, no optics exist right now. You see with your eyes and that's it. Mm. A magician could potentially use eyes to, you know, zoom in on things. I think wizards have done it before. Tabra Spot. is getting kind of busy at the minute. He's pulled out a bunch of crossbow bolts and he's, uh, he's probably actually gone back to the cart to do this because I think he'd need his work space kits. So I Tabra's back at the car. Do you have something that make me see better? Like further? Body spot spot. I, 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 I could get something. But it, it would take some time to make it. Okay, I was just thinking I could... If I could see further, I could float way, way up and, you know, get some better recon. But I guess I could just float, float way up and get some bleh, recon. Are you afraid of heights? Nope. Interesting. You're afraid of most things. That's the reason I ask. I am afraid... Uh, the things I am afraid of are as follows. I'm afraid of being alone. 
insects, spiders, reptiles, and very loud noises. Okay. Oh, and and the ocean. It's about this time that the spider lizard comes in spewing bugs and screaming <laughs> really loud. I mean, it's and, a demon army. And I have a heart attack. But uh, no, I can um I can float up uh at my regular move speed of, you know, mm. it's basically a jog straight upwards. So if I wanted to, I could get some Like yep. that said, you'd be all alone up there. Yeah, yeah. and if they there are flying things, you got to get you want to get snapped up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's it's being alone as in, like, knowing that I am alone. There's a difference with being, like, in a position where I know I could get to you guys Solitary back in, like, isolation. a couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like, a five-minute walk wouldn't be considered being alone. Like, being alone would be, like, everyone disappearing. Okay. But do you people want me to do that while you guys discuss things? So at least we got some kind of idea what's going on. You do what you wish. Okay. You... Stay safe. Phone oh. flies out the ceiling. Yep. Oh, that's happening. Uh, any hills? Uh, any there are any a few hills. hills. In this area? Uh. Cool. Yeah, let's uh, take you over to this map. We'll explain it better. Sweet. Who, who, you're currently here in the town of Kova. The towns that have been attacked are Ruffmarl and Tonbod. And they're okay. both at a lower elevation than Kova. Ever so slightly. Uh... Pretty much the road is the only route you can really take north or south here because of these craggy passes and then just wastes either side. Uh, well, it, it's more land on this side. Uh, but just very difficult to cross, very slow goings. And on this side, it's lots of cliffs and crags and also hard to manoeuvre. The scouts are currently in these highest hills, about 30 knobs north of town. Uh, but aye, those are good high points. You can see all the way to Tonbod on a clear day from top of these hills, apparently. Mm -hmm. Well, how about, how about around the town here, like... Uh, the town, not so much. Uh, there are valleys to the north, so there's pretty good vision. Uh, you, you can see a good 20 knobs out on a clear day to the tops of the next uh, hills across. But the tops of the tower, the towers at Cova 4 are like the highest oh, I'm, point. I'm not worried about Towers. I'm months. looking for a good if shit hits the fan, I'm gonna go sit here spot. Oh, you want like flank position? No. A safe distance. <laughs> Just somewhere to watch from. If shit hits the fan. Uh, yeah. You'd probably want to the east, upriver. Um, you'd be able to see the town still from like 27, maybe 30 knobs away because mm -hmm. it's all uphill. Gotcha. Uh, uh, to be able to see both the towns, by the way, you have to be uh, 350 meters up. Right, to see how far? To see 71 knobs. Right, that's not even that so, far, yeah. Um, to see both of them, it, I think it would be about 600? Yeah, 600 kilometers. Uh, not kilometers, meters. Six hundred meters up to see about a hundred kilometers. Yep. Cool. Well, that's bullshit because the Earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, James. Uh, no, I, I, 
think Jaku though is like, uh, I'm bored and I think I can be productive elsewhere. I'm gonna go scout north. No, that didn't work. What are you doing there, Tara? What I you... was trying to get a little micro going. Oh, okay. Well, that's a poor roll. <laughs> so Jaku's legit headed out on the road north. Yeah, I think I'm going to head out on the road north, and I'll keep my eye out. I have a feeling they will loudly make their presence known. Can you remember how fast you can move on your own an hour, Jakku? It's pretty fast, uh, isn't it? It was fast, but I don't remember off that. Uh, you can do that many kilometers in a day. So if you divide that by eight, you can do about 16 to 20 knobs an hour. So you could be okay. at those hills in an hour, especially if you're just sprinting or, you know, hiking yeah. fast. Yeah. Show me the hiking check, please. Actually, show this instead mm -hmm. legit just run in there why yeah le legit just okay jack who's on the road Going for an hour for tabber is preparing a bunch of charmed bolts oh big angry man i will i would like the use of your daughter to complete these spells. Worded different. <laughs> I would care for your daughter's skin to feel my touch as I complete these. Nope. <laughs> would it be okay if I harnessed some of the magical energy seeping out of Leah in an obtrusive manner? Magic word. Please. Leah? Yeah, I, I don't care. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> I imagine that's what he does when he's making charms. Uh, okay. 11. So it takes me about two minutes to get up there, and then I make a spot roll. Yeah. I don't know what you want for the minuses, but I make it by six. Okay, what's the size modifier on a town, and what's the range? <laughs> I don't know, man. You're the DM. Yeah, the size modifiers. Tombod is slightly smaller than Rough Mall, uh, but the size modifier is probably still like, what, plus 15-ish? Uh, it's in an obvious spot, so that's another plus 10, so you're at plus 25 there. And then the distance is... Well, I was looking specifically for army, not town, but... Mm, you're looking for an so army. So what the size modifier of army. Well, with that roll, you can definitely see both the towns, and you can see lots of smoke. You see the smoke early on as you're rising, um, and then you can see it billowing out of the burnt out husks of the towns um you think you can see a pair of horses on the hills over here and you definitely spot jacku sprinting away <laughs> as you're on your way up um but in the way of giant armies or things like that you can't see anything over in the distance there. They don't even look like there's anything moving around the towns. Two horses. Two horses uh, around about here. Uh, where the... It, it is about With where... someone on them? Or can I <clears throat> tell? You can't see uh, if there's any people. You could just see the horses uh, on this side of the furthest hill. But that is also where the captain told you his scouts had been sent. Okay. 
And the townspeople said they came from the water, right? Uh, yeah. The woman from Rufmal said uh, the demons she saw emerged from the river. But other people uh, said that they were coming out of the mountains also. Um, and the captain said that someone saw a dragon. See, and I have a suspicion that they're going over land. Now, ha has Jakku actually seen a map of the area? Uh, you've definitely caught like... a glimpse of one a couple of times. Tabra's uh, copied out a big map of all this area. So you've okay, and how about, like, Mitha? Have I ever seen a map of the... Yeah. Uh, you, you'd have seen plenty of... You'd have had a chance to get a glance at it. Have you got any cartography skills, or...? No, but, like, just the, the like, river location. Like, basically, I'm just asking, like, would Jakku be able to come to the the train of thought that like the river system that these two towns up here are connected to don't connect until you're like way the hell down oh yeah here you absolutely know that it's a completely different river well i mean it's all the same river basin theoretically it could be done it's just it seems you have yeah. to go hundreds of miles yeah it's uh mm-hmm I, I don't think anyone trades by river between Cover and Tombod. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. If they come in, they will be coming by land. Yeah, that... There were confirmed deaths, right? Oh, yeah. Thousands. Okay. No, they got scraped. Oof. No, I was just making sure, because for a second there, my brain was going, wait, were there really demons? Mm, give me another vision check, please, Orn. We could spot that dragon about to snap you out of the air. Oh. Like a breath mint. Mm. By five. Mm. Would it be considered an area attack at that point? <laughs> uh, Probably. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for that tiny size, that'd be like a Snammered. grapple with it's your like mouth. Whale maybe. eating krill. It it'd be a tough hit to make, but impossible to dodge. But you do not see a dragon. Um, and how long are you going to stay up there? Uh, I'm going to stay up there for like maybe a few minutes, and then pop on down. Okay. Like, I don't know how many... I just really want to scope this out, so maybe, like, how how many vision rolls would five minutes get me? Uh, no more vision rolls. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, if you spend, like, an hour up there, I'll give you another two. Yeah, it would, it would just be taking extra time at that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sigmund. Hello. Your daughter's all... So, uh, are you, what are we doing? Good question. Frankly, at this point, I'm determining whether or not it's worth it to stay here. Uh, yeah, it depends. If there's a demon army coming... We can't defend that. No. I don't care what the others say, that is simply impossible. Yeah, if there's a demon army coming, then I think staying is off the table. Demon anything. Yeah. Demon platoon, demon raiding party. Demon singular. These people will die like... Well... I'll skip the formalities on that. Right now, it's just seeing what exactly is happening and what is the best call. We're just gathering information at this point. We're Jakku's fast, so... He Leave just shrugs. Leave him to it. He's off on his own. Uh... Ulrich. Yeah. I feel like you said something earlier and it went completely over my head. I would like to increase the morale of the troops and staying in this fort by singing to them. Uh, kind of like pondering to, you will be remembered for your valiant <laughs> defense of this town song. 
radio. Sounds like a leadership <laughs> check. Yeah, that's, that's uh, leadership. It's a song. Well, yeah, I have no leadership, so I'm not sure if I could do it with a minus. Plus, you would have to. You would have to be the actual commander of those troops for leadership. Just, just cheering them up, though. I imagine with a song. Yeah, that's yeah. probably yeah, it's probably just like a performance. You're an amazing singer. You sing them. You sing them an amazing song. What is that? Um, Success by. Um. Nineteen. Yeah. Nineteen. It's the most beautiful thing any of them have ever heard. Uh, I cannot make that voice, but think about being like those church songs where they go with it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a so, choir. There's one bear, but they hear a like hundred person choir. And Sigmund, what were you about to say? Oh no, I was just about to make a joke. Oh, <laughs> well, don't feel pressured not to. It's nothing to make a joke about now. <laughs> like, uh -oh. Everybody's gonna die? Like, Woo! Uh, Woo! Spot, did you scurry away? Uh, Spot's kind of... Oh no, he's... Waiting uh, for a few people to... Enjoying the music. Yeah, he's kind of waiting for people to... Like, come on, let's, let's go. Jacko already legged it. Way faster than you could run. Yeah, but he wait. He he went the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> that crazy Spots. bastard's running towards the demon army. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's pretty much everybody's thoughts at this point. <laughs> well, everybody here, at least native to here. Okay, uh, give me the other vision check on. About fifty minutes pass. Uh, Ulrich sings like full opera. Uh, uh, a full opera takes more than an hour, buddy. <laughs> he sings it. It's uh, rock opera. It's like. Could a, I um full... just do one? Yeah, I'll give you one vision check at uh, plus three. Okay. That's how take extra time works. Yes. I got. I got you, Luke. You're also you're a, a like a minus fifteen, but a plus ten. By 11. Success by 11. You can see a third horse now past. It's just cresting a hill. If it were any closer, you'd have not been able to see it because of the top of this one in the way. Okay, so I'm spotting a horses, but no armies. No armies, but you do see that there's. it's a horse, rider, and at least one, maybe... It looks like maybe a group of seven to ten with one horse and rider traveling south slowly at a, a walking pace, a very slow walking pace. Marching you, pace? I think I know what's going on. I'm going to float down as fast as I can. You see a flash of white fur just arriving at the hill. Oh, well, I'll watch for a bit. <laughs> Time to see if our buddy gets killed. Are, are you going to start heading that direction or down? You, it's still too far to see anything. You just see a glint of white, like, flash past those two horses on the top of that one. I'm going to head down. I think I know what's up. You're proper squinting. Yeah, I'm going to head down and squint at them while I'm doing it. Okay. Just back so, to the fort. Back to the Luke, fort. I, I'm, like, keeping my ears open and listening as as I'm coming down the path, and as soon as I like hear something, I just want to like stop and duck into like stealth mode. Okay. The first thing you'd hear is like, "I'm shitting my pants, bruv. But like, I'm shitting my, I am shitting my pants." And he's like, "Shut up, shut up! I swear down. I saw something on road a minute ago." And he's like, mm, "What if it's demons? We should go back. We should just leave." Um, yeah, roll me, uh, yeah, some people speak in Meathan. <laughs> Didn't quite get it. Bleep, bloop, snobbles. Speak, speak uh, language, demons. If, it's, 
if it's the guards, though, he might be able to uh, realize if the, you know they're the same guys in the same armor. Uh huh. If if it's he, the he's only in him for now. Well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to like dip into like I Stealthy. assume there's like bushes. Yeah. Uh, it's um pretty coarse moorlands all up sides of these hills. So if you just crouch, you become invisible as long as your ears aren't poking out. Okay. It's actually pretty good rabbit territory. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, like, sneak up till I can see him. Mm-hmm. There are, like, two solitary trees maybe 30 meters apart from each other on top of the hill uh, just off to the east of the road and they're both laid down in between them they've got the horses on the road about 200 meters further back uh, tied to a tree and they're laying watching the road to the north okay yeah I'll uh, walk up behind them and announce myself like, ah! Oh my god! It's... It's, it's a demon! De it's... What is it? It's a rabbit? A big rabbit? And his friend's like... Usagi! It's Usagi invaded Tombod! <laughs> and he's like starting to scramble to his feet. Yeah, I, I start chittering at them. Uh... The other one starts I, going I to his feet. The, words. the first one <laughs> is reaching for his sword. I'll, like, put my hands up and just, like, look at him and shake my head. He pulls it out, and his friend pulls his sword out, and they're both staring at you. And mumbling at you in that weird Methan language that you don't understand. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Yeah, I, I just keep my hands up. Like. Rodeo. Uh, I'm, I'm chittering at them in that weird Usagi language. <laughs> that weird demon language. This is not going well. Give me a vision check, please, Jakku. You're kind of looking that direction at the minute as you forced him to turn around. On the nose. Uh, I just need to check my speed range table again. To see how far you saw just then. Yeah, no, you you don't see anything out on the road walking towards you. You don't see your death. I, I'm also listening in oh, the you, way that I do. You are also listening. I always listen. He does have I'm to in listen. a strange land. I am on my game. You hear hoof steps to the north. There's a horse trodding slowly over the path, uh, coming to the north. The sound of hooves carries on the wind. Okay. I'll, like, my ears, like, both just, like, kind of rotate a little t to that direction. Also the Listen sound in. of heavy metal joints creaking against each other and stamping against the ground. <laughs> I'll, like, point in that direction and, like, I kind of, like, cup my ear and then point in that direction. Like, north, point north. Mm. Oh, the hearing distance table. Yeah, you, you can hear the... Oh, no, wait, that's Metallica. Not... Mm, yeah, no, never mind. No, you can't hear crap. What am I on about? <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Wow. It's hard to hear something that's, like, just a meter away. Yeah. Did a deaf person write this table? Probably. That'd yeah, be a poor hiring choice. <laughs> yeah, somebody spent a lot of time with headphones at max volume. I, I hear leaves rustling, like, 
for him. Also, you might need to modify that because I think uh, Jakku's got increased. Yeah. Uh, mm. No, no, I, I don't have that. I just, like, I, I don't hear, like, a dog, but... Yeah. Mm. Each, each plus one, you make a roll by that you go up one one step in the table. So say you want to hear a normal conversation. Okay. If you if you make a roll by three, you could listen in by like three yards away. Okay. I mean, uh, three three steps. Yeah. On the table, that would be like eight yards away. Okay. So it's a different progression of vision. I got yeah. So um, people can't actually see this here in distance table. At the minute, right now. Uh, but it looks like the sound of normal traffic. You could hear from a range at sixteen yards. Jacku made his ear in check by four, so he could move it from. You could go four steps up the table, and he'd be able to hear that from 128 yards away. Is that correct? Uh, is 128 or 256? Oh, 256. Yeah, 256. I count... <laughs> Three and four. It's hard to count between those numbers, people. But yeah, so you can hear hoof steps just vaguely in the distance. And yet not see him at the same time. There's the GURPS magic for you. Okay. So then, yeah, I, I am, like, pointing at my ears. Like, and then pointing towards the, the hoof steps. Uh, they both are turned around and they, like, look down the road. There's no coming, pal. There is nothing there. Give me an IQ check. Yeah, you understood it. And I'll let you respond as well. I'll give oh. you a couple of sentences. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't even need sentences. I just need... Uh, horse. Point in that direction. They look at your ears. Are they smart? The answer is no, but just enough. It, oh, look at his ears. I think he can hear like a regular rabbit. I don't know, pal. All uh, right, oh, get down, get down. No, get the horses away from the road. And they're both, they both just run away from you towards the horses. Their horses? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to like, dip into the woods or dip dip back down and there's only two trees for 30 knobs <laughs> okay well two trees for uh, 15 knobs but but there's that grass and whatnot that i was hiding into yep. get up here uh, uh mm, there is long grass and shrubbery the moorland is kind of down here is where it gets thicker up around the road it's uh, pretty cleared, what from foot traffic and what have you, for a good okay. 50 meters either side. All right, well, I'm going to go down the opposite side of the hill from the horses that I heard. Okay. And I'm going to get into that grass and I'm going to kind of try to come around the hill to, to get a look. Audio. Uh, let's have a quick look back at the fort. Yeah, I think on. Um, you couldn't make it out any better other than the horse and rider. One really 
big person, maybe a bear like uh, Ulrig, and then it looked like five regular sized people heading south. From from the... yeah, approaching the they like within arrow shooting distance of where you just saw Jakku arrive at. Oh, well, hopefully Jakku can murder them all. Um, it only takes me about a hundred and twenty seconds to get down back mm-hmm. down. Yep. So you you've arrived back down there. Pop in. I think I know what's going on. Sigmund just makes a spit it out motion. <laughs> the army isn't marching, it's getting summoned by a g- group of people. If we can get the group of people before they summon the army, I think we'll be okay. I was up there for a while and I didn't see a single army, but I saw a group of five riders heading towards Jakku's location. And then I hope Jakku can come back to us. We can't exactly catch up to Jakku. No, but if we, like, leave right now on horse, we might be able to get there within at least a little bit to try to kill the guys before they summon an army to kill everyone. Okay, Jakku, you're pretty well hidden. Go on, spot. Sounds very dangerous. What if they summon the army right when we arrive? Well, then we're boned. I I don't like being boned. I don't think anybody does. I do. What? It's it's either that or we let them come and summon an army. It's really what you guys want to do because these guys are going to keep doing it. At this point, we have to ask, is it really worth saving the town at this point? Because frankly, if it's just the 12 people... It's not this town, it's the next town, and the next town, and the next town. But I will assume the forces will be summoned. Full Imperial Army, I imagine, could take on a group of 12 riders. I look at the captain of the guard. If it's only five riders, then we should head out. I had a, I had a slight Irish. Oh dear, I've completely forgotten how to speak again. Um, if it's only a single rider and some, you know, losers on foot, we should head out immediately, cut them down. Come on, men! There's ample of us here. There's four horses in the stable. They might be wizards, or they are wizards. The last time we fought a wizard. Most of us were incapacitated until the other wizard showed up. Tabra pops his head in. Uh, we a couple of his crossbow bolts. Like, oh, I have made excellent crossbow bolts. Oh, well, yes. No, Leah helped me. Thank you, Leah. She's walking in like, yep. Don't worry, Dad. Nothing weird happened. <laughs> I guess I'm... Go ahead, sir. I'm going to wave. I'm going to start heading out with the guards, and then that's me. Well, uh, Ulrich would be there still singing. Uh, if you show up and say that we need to move on, uh, he will make sure to hurry them up. I have made these. It says Tabra. I uh, just need to double check how many you could have made in an hour. He's got two of them so far. I can produce more. And there's some pretty fancy looking magical crossbow bolts that he's got. And what do they do? Mm, They should cut through an enemy's armor as if it were but thin paper. And you will find they inflict much more pain and suffering than a normal one would. All right. Ready and eager to fight, apparently. At least then. 
I really hope they don't die. What, what say all of you? Do we go north to face these? How far off did you see them? Little crystal. Uh, can I, do I need to roll something? I uh, have, um... Have you got navigation land? I what? don't have navigation land, uh... You got cartography, you got... I don't have cartography. You could also just say the end of the hills. Probably. Well, I want a more... Is that IQ minus... Roll Five the IQ, then? please, and I think it's a huge penalty, but you'll have to beat a nine, probably. Well, here's just straight up. You can apply any modifiers you want. Oh, it's close. Uh, yeah, you can guesstimate it. You're off by, like, about ten knobs, but... Oh, well, I would say the hills, but I don't have... And guess a number, but, you know... Yeah, you estimate that the ten knobs further away than they really are. Okay, well, that's I don't know that, so... But that's uh, slightly inconsequential. A difference of an hour. For most people. Oh, we're legging it. <laughs> well... <clears throat> To the hills it is, there's plenty of ambush points to be set up along the road. If they're that far north, then at least the four riders should arrive there. And who knows, Jakku might murder them all. Well, He's been known to do that. Mm, Rightio. And at that, that sounds like a brilliant smash cut opportunity. <laughs> Roll me a uh, 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 vision again, Jakku, please. And hearing once again. Yeah, you can definitely pick out the footsteps now, and you do see them. They just come round a corner, like past a bit, uh, a bit of a lumpy bit in the road. Let's come across here. I don't know if there's any dynamic lighting there, but maybe only Jakku should see it for fun. Too late now, I'm pretty sure. You probably spot the big guy first. It's pretty gruesome. Ooh. <laughs> oh, those guards are gonna get slaughtered. Uh, yeah. He looks ridiculous. He looks like a wall of black metal. Uh, he's maybe a head taller than the bear. Two heads, if you include the horns, that look like... It's hard to tell from this distance. You can see that he's got a huge sword, the length of a pole arm, across his back. God. And strung across the front of his armour is a nude and mutilated body of a human. Yay! I'm gonna stay hidden for now. Uh, the Come on, Jack, you kill him. Rider has got a strange, <laughs> shadowy aura to him. Uh, like this, it's not like Tabra. It's more like there's just darkness over him and the horse. That's also the biggest horse you've ever seen. And it's moving slowly, <laughs> assuredly. And then the others that are walking up are dressed just in loincloths. Some are carrying big, crude swords. Some are carrying clubs. Okay. And they look like men, but taller. Almost as tall as the bear. Uh, there's not a hair on any of them. And they've all got horns of various length and shape. It is demons. Demons is, is a pretty good description of them. Uh, roll me a fright check, please. You've not got unfazable, have you? 
Wow. Look at that. Critical success. Jakku is a badass. Demon army coming up the hill. About 100 yards away. How big a demon army? Uh, th This big. One, two, three. Uh, oh, four, okay. Five, six, seven total. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, no, not quite an army. More like a platoon. Uh, have you got any... You've got soldier, haven't you? No. You've not got the soldier skill. No, I... That, that's a small oversight. Mm. I... Make me an IQ check anyway. This class, this would be, oh yeah, I'd include this in um, cultural experience for sure. It looks like a um, a diplomat or a messenger, like the way they're traveling. It seems like the person on the horse is an important person. And it doesn't look like they're coming for war. They sure huh. as hell brought it. <laughs> But yeah, uh, like they're war. Well, you know, at least not to kill a whole town. Maybe. Okay. Uh. Well, I guess as they're sneaking down the road, I've, I've. They're not being uh, sneaky at all either. Or as, 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 I'm sorry, as they're like plotting down the road, I'm just gonna like. Yeah. Sneak off this way, like kind of get out of sight, and then I'm gonna start booking it back to town. <laughs> right, yo. So you'd get back in about an hour. Uh, I think the cap uh, smash cut back, yeah. Unless we like crash into them. <laughs> Yeah, some people will meet up with oh, Jakku on the road. Sigma knows better to the, just ride headlong down. He probably ditched his horse a while back for going my horse. In, in favor of just watching for a distance to see what exactly happens himself. Okay, yeah. No, actually, in fact, that's perfect. We can just join this up, even. Move the coffee aside. So yeah, Jakku, you're sprinting back. And seeing as you head pretty much due south, you come across these cutting off, trying to get ready in a position that looks like it'd make for a good ambush. Uh, um, and you think they're probably still an hour behind you at the pace they were moving. Okay. Uh, I will chitter away in Usagi my findings. I will translate. A <laughs> uh, few of the soldiers that have stood about that have come here are just like, Oh, uh, what? One throws his hat down like an old Yosemite prospector, just walks away. Well, dang, <laughs> gubbit. <laughs> I ain't having none of that. This is my chance for glory, god dang it. <laughs> So yeah, uh, five demons afoot, all armed with melee weapons. One. Hey. Go on. Well, when I was observing, uh, I also forgot that I should have... Have you got observation? Been... Well, I mean watching, but I, I was actually more like thinking about how I was looking at... Mm-hmm. Uh, Trying to get an insight on the <clears throat> big guy. Nothing on the big guy. The almost nude ones 
are acting kind of bestial though. Like he got a plus five to see that they're just like grunting, like dragging the feet a bit. Like, <laughs> yeah. okay. uh, they definitely were muttering at each other though, in what sounded like some kind of language. Drovas, Dora, Vrakril. Okay. And you don't have observation. Uh. No. Gives a perception. Uh, okay. Uh. One of them had a big bag of bloody meats that were leaking. It were like all soaked through on the bottom of it, just thrown over his shoulder. And occasionally one of them would walk over and pull out a piece of something and chew on it and then throw a bone away. People. Possibly. It was probably. Probably. We're going to assume it was people. Either people or anthropomorphic pigs. Okay. But I don't think you've ever seen one of them. So yeah, you could also, you know, have transmitted that. Oh, and I don't okay. know how this sounds to you. You hear it first. Oh. Okay. Still, it's better than an army. I still, I think our ambush idea. Come on, idea... guys, we can do it. Oh god, this is terrifying. Spot, what a, what a, <laughs> we turn around, Spot's already legged it. <laughs> this all got translated into something you'd understand. Uh, I mean, with that fear check, I think Jakku's also probably like, like yeah, I'd take him. Yeah, uh, have you got overconfidence? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could definitely take him. No problem, buddy. Easy. GG. Oh, wait. No, I don't have overconfidence. Oh, you might want to be careful then. <laughs> okay. You might want, to, might want to dial it back a few bits. Yeah, in, in that case, you'd probably die. Uh, from. Did Jakku do the, like, kind of phonetic sounds of the language that they were speaking? Roll me an IQ check, Jakku. To try and recount some... Oh. Probably not good enough. No. He barely understands me, then. Yeah. He did technically make it. Roll me Should linguistics, a... please. If you've got it on. You must have linguistics, surely. It's like your whole thing. I do. <laughs> Success by eight. Sounds yeah. a bit wretch, but also complete gibberish. Uh, well, well, yeah, he's just making phonetic sounds. Yeah. Either he's got wretch completely wrong, or it's a language you've never heard before. But maybe, like, found, like, either this came from wretch, or wretch came from that. E kind of a feeling. Possibly. They're yeah. in the same family. Mm-hmm. He sounded like he was putting on an offensive wretched accent. Kind of like when people do that really horrible, terrible, like, Chinese Yep. I know I'm, I'm particularly good at an incredibly offensive Indian accent that I'll definitely not do, because it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, so, okay, but it sounded like he was doing the, like, you know, yeah, but it sounds like... Uh -huh. Possibly wretched but also came out of demons' mouths. Although Retchen is a country of Skuvnet, which are skeletal humans. So you know. What look like humans. Uh, what's your tactics at, Sigmund? Oh, me? Yeah. Um, do I need a roll against it? 
Uh, what's your level in it? My level in it is right now a 13 in 30. tactics. Yeah, roll against tactics, please. Tactics, okay. Success by three. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll definitely want to start. Uh, this is a decent position to look over the road. Uh, I do that. Um, and you kind of interrupt, I think, Orn's little linguistics delve to say, let's get the fuck away from the road, yeah? Yeah, I mean, just just from all that, Sigmund just basically says, uh, let's get off the road before they continue. What are you doing with your daughter? You brought her out here. <laughs> I mean, preferably not, but... I, I think her and Tabra are still in town. With the dogs. So if Tabra Sounds tries good. out, the dogs will bite his face off. Uh, there's Lord Fluffybottom's doggo. We're looking after Leah for you. I could do the thing again. Where I just walk up to anyone and be like, hi? I would I'm love nervous to see about that. this. You'd love to see that. Does Sigmund say he'd love to see that? No, no, no. I was making a joke. <laughs> I've done it before. I did it to the last that group of wizards when we got the cart. I, I, I don't know. We could try talking to them. You've seen that spot. Uh, you can try talking to them. We're going to wait back here. On talks to him and then their heads fall off. Yeah, I remember that. I don't think it's going to work this time. I, it's a distraction at the very least. They might Why? not try to murder me. Everyone roll vision. If you succeed by two, you spot the rider and the big guy and the five people behind him. Nope. Otherwise, it's just a blurry mess. Spot and Ulrig, you both pick them out. Pick it by ten. Yeah, you get fine detail there on. Wait, why are they blurry? Uh, Did your eyes can't focus that far? Yeah, you know. Unless, unless you've succeeded by two. It's a rider, some other lump approaching. And some fuzzy behind it. But Spot and Ulrig, you definitely pick out the uh, dead, eviscerated human draped on the front of the guy's armor. That's the main thing you were trying to see. You see that she's a woman, Orn, or she was a woman. and Is she's it our been... lady? Mm, no. But that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that. No, I, I really didn't, but... Oh, well, missed opportunity. Oh. She's somewhere else. She's safe for now. She's shit in her pants, though. Okay, we need to make a decision right now. I'm willing to do it, but I don't I don't know if we should. What, what should we do? Uh, already, I think we're already walking the fuck off the road. Like. Oh, yeah, uh, fright checks, please. Okay, mm -hmm. this is where we do Oh, wait, that. spot already made us. Is anyone orn? Oh, poor Ulrich. Oh, oh hell. No. <laughs> oh, like, hell no. oh, what the fuck is no. the big one? Oh, Ulrich is just like, oh, maybe maybe we shouldn't fight, guys. Hold up. Roll another yeah, maybe 3D6. Maybe we should just, like, turn around and just pick up your daughter and get the hell out of this country. Oh, what's that? I was right? Yes. <laughs> Roll another uh, but... 3D, Ulrich. Oh, another 3D? Got it. Uh, 10. Mm -hmm. 13. Acquire uh, a new mental quirk. I hate that one. <laughs> so, many, uh, have you already got any quirks on Ulrich? I have only yeah, the no. one that lets me just hang around all races. No, no, no quirk. 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 The I last think... quirk you got, I believe, is when you were bleeding out because you got stabbed in the dick. Uh, Either that or... Well, I actually made that one. I think it was when you tried to heal the dead man, but he turned into oh. a zombie on you. Yes, fear by zombies. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, this... fear of demons. 
So uh, this is a this is a good time to take a break, right? Uh, how long have we been going? It probably is. Yeah, that, this, uh, is a, this is a perfect time to take a break. Yeah, we'll be before, back in about. Yeah, you know, we get our shit stopped. Five least, minutes. You guys get your shit stopped. I'm getting my daughter and getting out of here. <coughs> All right. Yeah. Oh. We'll be right back.
we are back. Oh, the players shut up fast when you tell them that I'm bringing it back. Welcome back, everyone. I oh, were talking to the players then, by the way, players. Oh, <laughs> well, we don't know. <laughs> I'm too busy squatting in a bush here. Yes, anyway. that's fair. Okay, so on. I actually, no, I'm, I'm busy walking back getting my daughter. So, mm, yeah, they are kind of in a range where they might see you if you changed position now. But probably not. You've got a pretty good spot for a retreat. That that's your whole deal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna start a slow retreat to kind of head back to town. Go back, get my daughter, and make sure it's all safe. Yeah. Dude, don't leave. We could take him again. We can you kill. Can't take him. What are you smoking? <laughs> We got a wizard, two warriors, and you, uh, he destroyed ten two dudes. Towns. No, an army destroyed two towns. Like, I look at the wizard. The army. I look at the wizard. How long would it take to summon an army? Tabra yeah. is back in town with Leah right now. Yeah, Tabra's and can't answer your question. I thought he came with with his arrows. Oh. Oh. He he gave his bolts to the most skilled crossbowman who was going with you. His name is uh, Gorbel Dung. No, it's just Gorbel. He's, he, he's about to be Gorbel and some dog here in a moment. Bye. Uh, <coughs> Gorbel. Jacku, did you say that, did you let us know that these guys didn't seem like they were here to fight? Yeah, I, I assumed when I said, uh, oh, Sigmund, you... I fill you in that uh, I had. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have you got soldier? Yes. Actually, <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, uh, I have the uh, the better version, expert skill military. Mm, yeah, give me that. That's like basically that. Yeah, but it's also like IQ hard. It's the so there might be. I believe there's bonuses for it. No, oh, whatever. I'll just roll it real quick. I succeed anyways. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely a diplomatic party. They're here to send a message, treat, or something else, but they're not here to start a fight. Cool, neither are we. Alright, I guess I'll talk to them if that's the case. Yeah, Sigmund will let you know, and then he's gonna go double back and get his daughter. Don't make them mad. Deuces. So on's floating on down, let's head over to that map. Let's head over to that combat map for no inexplicable reason. You know, things might just kick off all that. You know, anywhere. in case giant, you know, Black Rider man needs a new basketball. <laughs> I think Jaku's going to follow Orn. Uh, hide. I'd rather have you have a surprise attack. You know, if you can kill them. They're terrifying. Yeah, I'm a bit scared of him. Like, the GM is scared of these things, just to let the players know us. But, like, uh, Jakku, you could probably take him. You're not overconfident. You, you probably could not. But also, if you're not looking to start a fight, then neither Zorn, I don't think. Just act like you're walking by and see if they start attacking you. Just just casually walk on by. Oh, that's that's what I usually do. My whole thing is I, I act dumb. Uh, and yeah, the rest of you guys is, are probably down here. Except for Simon, who's bleep blooping off the was. bottom edge of the map. <laughs> Simon, who done fucked off. Yeah, I mean, he has a daughter. Sigmund. He ain't gonna fight him. Sigmund. He knows what he's worth. He knows what they're worth. <laughs> he ain't fucking with that. He'll live another day. Oh, there's two spots. Whoops, that's my bad. The spot just walking up towards them as well. Spot, <laughs> spot, nice. I got this. Uh, I'm okay. Spot's I can do this. Spot's kind of a badass. Okay, let's try and smooth this map out a bit. Oh, I see where Jacko is. Did I see a stealth? I see a stealth. Uh, okay. Just succeed by oh so. my god, they're ugly. Yeah, they are ugly. 
they don't they're seem to notice you, Jacko. You know, when you're probably prisoner for them a little bit here, Spot, you'll warm up to the whole concept of, like, a human skin. As they start approaching, he'll turn, like, I was mock talking to Spot, or probably talking, but just saying random stuff in his language. Mm -hmm. And then I'll turn and look and go, wave and go, oh, hi! The rider, like, held his hand out to signal to his troops as uh, he saw you stepping out into the road. He looks down at you. You can see now that somewhere in that shadowy darkness around his helm, there are two glowing red points of light where his eyes would be. And he says something in a language you do not understand. Chiral linguistics to get a grasp on it? Not like understand it immediately but know its origins or family Drovastaro. yes please roll me linguistics um, for a by five for. success by five it sounds a bit like wretch but mm. not older it's it's something that came before wretch but also wretch is one of the oldest languages that you know of i'll still wave and at them thanks for the follow glam jam and hob grovelin I didn't oh, my boys earlier. are here? You... Hold up a moment. My boys are here? But I... Your bravery. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, they, they came here to know that I fucked up. <laughs> I ain't deal with this shit. Rost. Vrast. Draws. He turns around uh, and reaches to the back of the horse. You see that the horse is very strange. It's big. It's actually not big enough on this map. It should be more like about that. It's not got any eyes. They're just empty sockets there. Oh, the chat's all messed up. What's going on? There we go. Not the Twitch chat, the Roll20 chat on Twitch. But I've just fixed it. Fixed it! He turns back around. And he flings a head at your feet. It lands about there. He holds it up first. Dangling uh, his fairly long hair. Grimace on the face. Blood all over it. And he tosses it down at your feet. Okay. Spot's got feet. Orn's not got feet. I. Spot reaches in his backpack. And he pulls out the two heads of the people. Jaku. <laughs> and sees <laughs> them the other day. For anyone who needs catching up, Spot's regularly collects decapitated heads from the battlefield. So, okay, you've, you've pulled out your two heads. Yeah. I just hold them up. Oh, Rick is internally screaming, we're fuck, we're fuck, we're fuck. <laughs> uh, there are a few soldiers uh, fleeing with Sigmund. <laughs> oh, I mean... He... <laughs> he ain't running, but he, he sure as hell walking. Yeah, they're, they're like, with you going, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked. I trust we'll handle it. The I captain is daughter I have to get. next to you, Ulrich. He's the only one who decided to stay. I I keep mine and his head down, like, pressing my arm, like, way under, under him. So that <laughs> we're, like, covered by this thing and just not screw them up. Uh, but I he looks at your heads 
his red dots of eyes just lock with yours spot as he stares into your soul for a second and then like starts like that. <laughs> and then all his minions like <laughs> They start chattering at each other in that language. He raises his axe up and points it down the road to the south and looks at both of you. Uh... I turn and look confused for a second and turn back and go, What? Warren, try, try some other languages, see? Uh, I'll try Wretch. Okay. He goes... He'll, he'll respond in Wretch, but it sounds hard for him to speak. Uh, so you do speak at least one tongue. Worth knowing. Yeah. Hi. What's your name? It would... Mm. I don't have vocal cords. I can say it. <laughs> yeah, mm. Alright. Nice to meet you, Gosk. I am Orn. How are you today? Nice head you got there. Or Which one? He kind of has two. Or three, actually, if we count the one on his back. Well. <laughs> a nice head on his shoulders, or a nice head that's against his shoulder? Or the one he just yeeted? But yeah, I've complimented the head he tossed to my feet, and then... So... Just... He starts up? dismounting slowly. Your heads are fine, too. Mine was the head of a lord. Oh... Lord of a town north of here. Okay. I would be most grateful if you could take it with you back that way. Um, depends. The lands to the north have been reclaimed by those banished to the void. So you're stopping there then? You abominations are not welcome further north than the two trees we passed a short while ago. But we will not pass any further south along this road. Gotcha. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll bring Spot gets ahead, would you? I, I fart at him. Okay, I, I stash the heads back in the, my backpack. Uh, quick question before you go. Do, do you mind if I ask you a quick question? I would rest a while here. Okay. So I have um, more than a quick while. He I turns to his peoples and says like, cross crush. And they all kind of, <laughs> they throw the meat sack on the ground and sit down, squat, start feasting. Ah. Ah. Except for the big guy. 
who moves the horse over to the side of the road and then just stands watching you. I'm gonna cough up the drawing. The drawing of the witch. Yep. Uh, have they... I don't know if you want a bloodlust from me. Like, I, 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 I'm not sure if these guys... I would have, uh... Are actually foe. Uh, I would have worked out a things have gone to hell signal with you beforehand. Uh, I, I'm just trying to see if I need to roll a bloodlust. Like, if if these guys are enemies, like, it, it doesn't really matter. You... Like, It's pretty obvious that they're eating people right now. So that's, uh... Don't do it. I mean, do you, do you think they're enemies? It's up to you, you know? If, they're eating full. If you want to try and kill some demons, that's up to you, the, Jekku. They're Go for eating it. People, you can do it. So... That's your only family yeah. charitable Don't. check. No, he, Don't do it yet. he actually already passed his charitable check, but then decided it had rather failed it. <laughs> we just rerolled it just in case. It's like when you toss a coin, not so that it'll choose for you, but so that once you've seen the result, you'll know what you actually wanted to do. Mm -hmm. and then he gets backed up by something like that, you know. <laughs> but right. I'll pull out the piece of paper. These these guys look formidable. Uh, they're going on six feet tall, these individuals. This bloke's meant to be slightly bigger than his token. Represents... He is like a good seven feet tall. And this person is maybe nine feet tall. How tall is it here? Uh, that's a, a fair drop. That's like a ten foot drop. So the top of this is still over the top of his head. Okay. It's like the tipper so is all. people are talking, I want to like be sneaking up here. Okay, give me just one stealth. I imagine you move very slowly. Yeah, yeah. Figure there's time while we'll talk. Do I get any bonuses from grassy cover or anything? There's a couple of camouflage bonuses. Uh, you got. Semi lucky. The semi is the worrying part. Yeah. These. These I'm are demons. Semi worried. <laughs> Give me. Vision, perception, or body language. Your choice. Isn't there like a body control skill? what it's called. Body language. Uh, the big guy seems to have noticed something. Okay. He definitely adjusted to keep his eyes up in the direction that you are. What would you ask okay. of me, Dethovian? I unscrolled a piece of paper and go, have you seen this lady? Unsure. No. Humans are of no consequence. Poor Simon. What do you mean, poor Simon? I'm living. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. She was just heading up north, and I was, you know. A cow is a cow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, the void? He kind of... <sighs> you sense that dark energy pulse off him as you mention it. I would not speak of it. Okay. Just kind of gonna sit there awkward or hover there awkwardly for a bit. Mm -hmm. 
see if he says anything else. He's leaning against the rock. Uh... Are you, you're just a messenger, right? You're not the big honcho or anything. He's. <clears throat> I assume you're important. I am a diplomat mm. of the Almighty. Gotcha, gotcha. But I... Does this one speak? Any not tongues. language. Uh, he heard me farting at him a minute ago. Mm -hmm. uh, does he speak this wretch? Nope. I'll fart at him. No, I don't know the language. Shake. Shake, shake, shake. Well, I, I would say shake my head, but I don't have a head. Just go, no, but I can translate if you got any questions. <clears throat> Is he in the business of eradicating humans? I mean, sometimes we are. I'll fart back at him and ask him the question, though. So. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, no. All I can say is sometimes, but usually not. You two intrigue me. Thank you. Right back at you there, Chief. My finger guns at him. As to your companions in the hills. He kind of looks down past Spot. And then kind of glances over his shoulder as well. Uh, do we notice? Uh, possibly. Uh, give me a hearing, please, okay. Ulrig. Ulrig says, ruh -ruh. Yeah, it, it seems like you've been, you've been made. Jesus. Yeah, there. They're they're the uh, uh, I kind of pointed the guys behind them and they go they're they're equal to those guys, like you know guarding me, making sure nothing happens. They are right to be wary. But I find our meeting to be a most lucky event. Fortuitous. Yes. We have hit a severe communication barrier with much of the cattle. Well, sorry, say again. You seem you would make a good bookkeeper and translator. Well, I mean, ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> would you accompany us? I have some people I would like to talk to. And I feel you will help me do that. Who do you want to talk to? Some humans. Which humans? Like ones you already have or ones down the road or what's up? Ones I already have. Or had. Ah. The human in particular 
isn't all that important. Gotcha, gotcha. But they are north. Well, okay, uh, just checking, Jakku. You didn't just like walk out in front of him or anything. You were no, no. That's okay. that's not what I intended. J just checking, because it looked like you might be like, oh, but no. Well, you know, my my party my party is with me, and I think you freaked some of them out a little bit. Uh, so how about this? Tomorrow at about high sun. Uh, do you want to meet at the two trees with the people? <sighs> Agreeable. All right. And just so we're uh, clear on the boundaries here, do I have a? I don't have a map. And then we can also, you know, draw the lines of the map to know where the murder zone is and things like that. It'll be a thing. It'll be great. The two trees are a fine landmark. No, 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 no. I get that, but what angle, latitude? You know, minutia. <sighs> well, deliver this message. And meet us tomorrow. Yep, yep. Cool, 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 cool. He mounts his horse. Uh, 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 actually, uh. before he was doing Don't that... Don't murder him! Yeah, he has to. He, he failed his bloodlust. This isn't his character. No. Self check. We are stabbing in the vitals. He wasn't wearing armor. No, wait, he was. Uh, as for what you can see on him, he has an axe, a shield, armor, helmet, chain covering the neck as well. Yeah, he's, he's fairly heavily armoured. Dark, dark metal. It's also back above. Okay. Let's see. Let's roll this public. A big guy is going to attempt to parry that. He made his vision. Uh, so he's going to need better than a 12 to manage to parry this. And he succeeds by two. Ugh. Or did I do that wrong? No, you did that right. Okay. <laughs> just double checking. Yeah, no, I just, <laughs> I just glanced at you. No, you're good. You made about two. Uh, I, I do also need to roll this fast draw, actually. And yeah, he kind of creates his fast draw a bit. <laughs> Swing. It's huge. <laughs> And you I mean, saw. Actually, rolled, you rolled a fourteen. Oh, I rolled a fourteen. Yeah. Uh, I did roll it bad. So yeah. no, yeah. He... Oh yeah, actually no, you got to swap. That's my mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. Yep. 
uh, I thought I'd rolled it the wrong way around. So yeah, he fast draws his sword, but does not quite reach to parry in time. Show me damage. Eight impaling, chinking armor, vitals stab. Trying to see if we can fuck up a demon diplomat. Uh, ooh, wow. Okay, so he's still got his skin, at least. I should open his sheet. That'd speed things along, wouldn't it? Yeah, just a bit. Likely. There's only one room, so I can just use this. So... Uh-huh. Comes out of that much damage. Uh, any vitals blow trigger a major wound check? Or a knockdown check, even? Let me double check. Sure. Yeah. You roll for knockdown yeah. on a... So, let's see... Not knocked down. Question is, does he have vitals? Uh, he, he does, and they are in roughly the same place. And then he's screwed. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's turn order time. You can do it, Jakku. We got your back from way far away. <laughs> well, I think this is going to be the end of Jakku because I did, did a peaceful negotiation with the bloodthirsty murderers to get information, but Jakku, you're going to kill everyone. Oh, because... Kill everybody in the immediate area. Let's not jump to conclusions here. I'll be fine. On the bright side, it'll look a lot more decent. Instead of a human pelt, it'll be a bunny pelt. That's grim, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your backup character? Uh, an archer. <laughs> and I think everybody made the archer backup characters. Uh, no, Jared made a, uh, a swordsman backup character. Semi-swordsman, yeah, semi-psychopath. I had to make a backup character because I'm not going to get murdered. The Old dragon words. appears, swoops, eats the shiny crystal. It, it, it vomits you back up on its horde later. If we got everyone that wanted to be there, it looks like it. Uh, Jakku, that was. I'll, I'll give it to you. You've had your surprise round. Now go again. Sure, go ahead. Go. Does <laughs> yeah. it look like it hurt? Uh, a bit. He definitely... <sighs> Didn't see that shit coming. That's Jakku's turn. Radio. The fell knight is gonna turn. With sword. He just kind of steps forward and puts his hand out to be protective of the rider. Who's just gonna say, ugh. What is this? And these kind of... All jump to attention. Some are moving a step. Doth fax real. Ulrich. You might be muted. Yes, I was. I was saying, I see this and panic, and do I need to roll a fry check? Uh, no. Have you got combat reflexes? Yes. Uh, then no, you're fine. You can do whatever you please. I'll try to stand up. I think there's two turns to do that, as uh, I was laying down on the hill. Yep, unless you've got acrobatics. You could roll acrobatics minus six to attempt to acrobatic stand. I do not have acrobatics. I'm not a circus bear. 
<laughs> Radio. So you get to your knees. Uh, he just goes like, "Good God!" Spot. Uh, I do not have combat reflexes. Uh, roll me. Oh boy. Uh, IQ, please. Yeah, so you, the first round. You also saw Jakku come in. Yeah, I made a I rolled a perception to see if I noticed him. Yeah, you you noticed Jakku come in. I don't think you're completely stunned right now. Have you got any uh, combat think... skills? You can throw grenades and stuff. Yeah, I think you're you're mostly alright. Alright, so perception for me also? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, you also spot Jakku. All right, so I'm not stunned then. Uh, no, you'll you're still stunned this round. Oh, can I say anything? Uh, yeah, I'll let you do free actions. Sorry about that spot. I also kind of cut you off a bit. In case you wanted to make any fart noises. <laughs> no, oh, I'm you... gonna. No, go ahead. No, you go first. You were first turn first. I think the correct thing is that uh, if you don't, if you lack combat reflexes, then the, you're stunned until you make an IQ roll. Yeah, you oh, make an IQ roll to see how long you're stunned, I believe. Yeah. There's extended rules in martial arts that five, involve five? fright checks and running away, but I'm pretty sure you're all right. Stunned this round because it just came out of nowhere, but uh, you'll be fine on your next turns. So I can't talk. No, you could, I'll let you say something. A one second talking, I'm going to say. He asked, what was this, right? Yeah, what is this? No idea. <laughs> Jakku. Oh, I never added a turn tracker. That's Jakku. Jacko is running more. Fell Knight uh, turns. Tracks you. I'm guessing stealth's out the window now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Try to just go. Uh, and then he turns and draws his axe. Uh, da, 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 these guys. This one is gonna climb up this wall. You see me? It's just scrambling to the top. This one can also do a full move to get to the top. This one's gonna start climbing. These two are gonna prepare a flank maneuver slightly here. They're in a bit. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm, no. They're just gonna. Guard the flanks. That's a long move. Too much. <coughs> He'd be there. Apologies. Ulrich. I'm gonna continue standing up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're on your feet now. You can also mm -hmm. take a step in any direction. Okay. Uh, I guess I gotta go this way if I wanna move, right? Uh, forward is a two-yard drop. I'm big enough. I think I can handle it. Drop. Yeah. Uh, have you got jumping? I got... Very fit. Not sure if that gives me the plus two. Roll me DX, please. One second. Oh, no, wait. I didn't have... Uh, very fit on this one. My bad. DX. <laughs> no, you've you've fallen. I fall down on my face. Uh, how much HP do you have? Uh, if I heal up before this time, uh, for full fourteen. Otherwise, twelve. Uh, you should be okay. Okay. Then fourteen. I'm not sure what velocity is for two yards. Probably at at least five. Three damage to the fourteen. I am at. Oh wait, what's the fourteen? Uh, hit locations. I 
But what can I never find hit locations on the GM screen? Let's see if he has a handout for this. Yeah, mm hmm. I used one in Nirvana. There it is. It's because it's not in a box. It should be in a box. Oversight. The 14 is the left leg. Do you have armor to the left leg? I have leather leggings, so that would be two. Uh, yes. So, yeah. DR. Just one damage to the left leg, and you okay. back fallen down. <laughs> Good thing I'm wearing pants. Uh, Captain Bronald gets to his feet and kind of looks down at the bear on his face. Spot. You may act now. Uh, I'm going to delay after Orn. Okay. Orn? I'm going to yell on Usagi. I'm going to we'll first put my hands up like a in a motion that says... I do not know what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. And then yell in Usagi, or, or not, or, uh, Jakku, stop it! Okay, and spot. I'm uh, gonna stand in all out defense, increase a dodge. Gotcha. Uh, Jakku. Right. Uh, you hear combat. Y you'd been sneaking away. You're like as far away as you are now, Sigmund. <laughs> I keep walking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Jakku, I don't think he's got a roll to hear that. No, it were a shout. You do hear it, Jakku. I think Jakku's in combat mode. Jakku takes one step back and is taking an all-out defense. Mm, dodge. Which, dodge. Plus two to dodge. Yes. Against one attack. Hell Knight's looking up at you. Rider. Can he see me? Takes two steps. Actually, he can't. No. That cliff is slightly too high. He's just looking up in this direction. Uh, you also can't see him either, though. For it's these two and the hands that it. Mainly worrying you right now. So he's going to climb up to there. And they all draw weapons. Uh, uh, no, not that one. He looks like he's going to start. This one has a big, gruesome club. Uh, this one's got, like, a short, swordy thing. But it is not of a style you've ever seen before. It looks like a blind person hammered it out. And this one's got a similar sword, but it looks like it's made out of bone. Do you want me to mark them for you? <laughs> sword. Uh, hammer. I don't think it's too important. No. Bone Worst sword. comes to worst, people could ask. This one also starts climbing, almost gets to the top. Um, this one is watching you two. <sighs> and putting his hand on his club. Ulrich. <laughs> I see my friends in danger and I'm scared. I am very afraid. And covered in mud, so I just try to get myself back up again. Okay, get back to your knees in the mud. Yes. Captain Bronnell is gonna step over to here and fast draws his sword. Spot. Ow. Back away one step here. <laughs> and. S <laughs> Keep up the all out defense dodge. Okay, on. All out defense dodge, but s s still with hands up, say, in wretch. I told him to stop! Okay. Okay. Jakku. Uh, Jakku will take 
One step there, all out defense dodge. Radio. Plus two to one dodge. The fell knight uh, sticks his sword into the ground at a slight angle. And the rider like puts one hand on the horse and one foot on the sword. This one here, facing Orn and Spot, draws its club menacingly. <sighs> uh, okay. Four meters. Um, this one's going to move to here. Also, take an all-out defense uh, dodge. This one kind of scurries forward with its bat, and it's going to evaluate there. Uh, can you only take a step and evaluate? Yeah. Yeah, so no, no evaluate. Just move to there. This one will move round to here. Yeah, that looks nice. So they they kind of spread out, move up, go into surround Jakku from one side. Ulrig. Uh, am I up or still not sure? Uh, you're like yeah, you're to your feet now. You can take a step, or I'll let you move like straight forward. Okay the direction you're facing. Just step. Mm -hmm. Right. Took one. You can ready your axe as well, if it's not already. I'll ready it then. Uh, spot. No, I'll maintain the same maneuver. One. Um, I think I'm doing all our defense and continuing the sentence because that was two seconds to say. Quite. I told him to stop. Told Jakku to stop. Yeah, well, no, I said in wretch that I said I told him I to told, stop. I told him to stop. Jakku. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Jakku takes a step here. Into... And... Ooh. I'm guessing you change face in to put him. Oh yeah, more. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's allowed with the step. And uh... oh shit. I wanted to add a couple levels of stuff to that. Okay. Here's what I want. Mm. Yep. He dodges and steps back away from the blade. I'm sure you next time. Go ahead. No. Never mind. Radio. Uh, Void, uh, Fell Knight maintains his position, helping the rider onto the horse, who is continuing to mount the horse. Uh, this guy kind of moves a bit. He's eyeing you two, but he's also, like, he's definitely noticed Ulrig and Captain Bronnell down there. Ulrig, you're on your feet. You've got your axe in your hands. You and need forward. hurts a bit. That's it. Rightio. He's like weighing up his chances, but he reckons the two of you can take just that one. Spot. Uh, Turn to face the guy and for me, all out defense dodge. Radio on. 
Uh, I'm going to take a step back and then yell at everyone in uh, Methan to not murder each other or to stop. Basically, to stop! Radio. Full out defense. Stop. Dodge. Uh. Huh. Got you. Jakku. Uh, and also, Sigmund, are you still just heading slowly down the hill? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think anyone's really noticed you, except for, you know, the uh, multiple guards leaving with you, as in everyone. But Jakku, you're up, making an IQ roll. She did shout at you in Usagi. Yeah. But I was trying to see if I understood the Methan she just spoke. And I mean, I do. But does he care? And These are the true questions. Yeah, I'm going to step towards this guy. And... Uh, add two levels of deceptive to this. So he's at a minus two to his active defense. Yes. Oh, that's a hard fail. Uh, I don't know why that's set as affliction damage um it's cutting damage it's it's cutting damage okay his neck skin feels remarkably tough uh but not that tough like leather uh, so an extra point okay. will go through because of cutting versus flexible armor so you just dealt seven points of damage to this guy. Yeah, uh, blood seeps out. It's thick and black. Uh, these guys aren't all super pasty either. Some of them have got almost like wine-colored skin. Others are gray and super, like, charcoal ashy they're quite varied uh, but yeah good slice there he's bleeding the rider's still mounting and he's gonna start shouting kill that All right, why would he shout it in any language he shouts cross clap but it's pretty self-explanatory. Yep. He jumps back and, like, holds his throat with one hand. Uh, roll a d6. Jakku. Sorry to see if uh, you hit I'm an sorry. artery. Oh, uh, what do I need to roll? A d6. Six. Did not hit the artery. Shuck okay. darn. This guy is going to step in and make an attack with his bone sword. Er, he's at a minus one because of your size. So this is verse 15. Potential success to poke you in the torso. That's an amazing dodge. Uh, this other one is going to make an all-out attack and move straight forward. And he's going to swing at your... Uh, oh, just at the torso, but I'm going to put two levels of deceptive on it. 
so he, he's versus 16, barely manages it. You can attempt to dodge at a minus two. You may not add a retreat to this. Oh, and this guy has scrambled to the top and ready his weapon by now. Just made it there. Expending a bit of extra effort to do it. Jakku yep. barely dodges the sword blow, which was coming for a deep, gouging slash across the chest if it had made it. Ulrich. I am running by now here. Uh, he would be telling Spot and Orange, get behind me. This and person definitely moved a step in this direction as you started off. And Captain Bronn will follow your lead and start sprinting as well. Spot. Uh, I will take a step back here and I will attempt no it's just a normal draw mm -hmm. it's a ready maneuver you stick your hand in your bag and pull yeah. out absolutely nothing and then put your hand back in your bag and start pulling out a potion <laughs> <laughs> On. All out defense, um, dodge, and then I'm going to take a step one meter up. Roydio. Vertically. And I, vertically, and I'll say, um, everyone stop. Just faster. Mm -hmm. yeah, everyone stop. In which language? Methan. Okay. Mm. I don't know why I'm rolling IQ. They don't. They've got, not got any chance to understand that. But Jacku, you should roll IQ. Not that I think you care. And it's your turn. Yeah, she shouted, "Everyone, stop!" Someone also is like three, four people are trying to kill you. So as I get to about here, I begin my jump. No preparation, but that's five yards of movement. Second. Give me just a DX check, please, because that weren't quite a straight line. Oh, it was just the way I was calculating my move. I mean, I can make it straight line. Oh, no, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> You're good, in fact. Uh, okay, so with a move of five, my broad jump is... Or with a run of five, no prep, my broad jump is seven. The sheet calculates this nowadays. Yes, it does. That's so... So, I think I make it, like, here this round. Uh, I'm not oh. sure. Do you move your full broad jump distance in one round? No, no, no. You you still move your regular move. Oh, you just like I jump. I'm basically like I I can't I can't dodge and retreat this round. Oh, should have. Is that right? I thought when you made a jump, it all happened in your turn. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it all happens in the character's turn. Unless you jump in, like, insane distances, or there's not land where you'd be hitting. But yeah, if you didn't want to jump that far, that's also fine. Oh no, I... I I'll, I'll totally take that, that works for me. Uh... That's a better attack position. 
flying leap normally that's like at minus 10 without preparation and stuff into it oh is it okay never mind i don't want to do that then right Th this works out for me you can legit jump straight to there i think it's minus 10 for no preparation minus five for one second etc it's uh more than that. More I than that. The exact yeah, I can give <laughs> you the exact number if you want. Yeah. No, I'm good. There's modifiers that fix it. But flying leap is tough. Okay, so this guy is still helping the rider up. What turn are we on? Turn six. Yeah, he's still not up there. He's got like one foot over his horse. Like, just getting on to it there. Uh, oh. That was dick move, Jakku. <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> uh, Alright, let's step here and try and club Ulrich. Uh, that is a critical hit. I am so sorry, Ulrich. Can mm. I attempt to parry? No. I have my action ready. You have no active defense versus a critical hit. Uh, it's only at the torso, at least. Let's back that up. 13 on the crit table. Is major wound regardless of injury, if any damage penetrates DR. And let's have a look. What is swing damage? This could be painful. Ten crushing damage to the torso. I have a DR of two on the torso. So eight damage to the torso. And because he had a major wound, he does have to roll for knockdown, I believe. Uh, yes, at a minus five. Uh, so HT minus five. Nope, I'm down. Yeah, it like knocks the wind out of here and sends you back onto your ass. <coughs> uh, roll. roll 20 gets on these binges where I think it just hates people. It it feels like it always hates ever. You're not unconscious yet. Roll HT to see if you recover from stun, though, this round. Mine is what? Uh, it shouldn't be at any penalty. Have you got hard to subdue? I don't know if uh, that gives a bonus to recover. To what? Is your, yes. Wait, hard um, to subdue tree. Why is your health roll target a seven? Uh, because I lost HP, therefore my HT yeah. no, no, is Is HT is lowered by his HP? Okay. So yeah. the less HP I got, the worse I do with my HT, and it's kind of like a snowball effect. I don't think that affects rolls for knockdown and unconsciousness and stuff. Hard to subdue? I'm not sure if hard to subdue affects major wounds either. Is hard to worry? subdue is only if you're passing out. Yeah, or I think like it... if you're getting tased or something like that. Yeah, no. So, but what is your HT normally? That'd be 12. So, no, yeah, you're still stunned on the floor. It really knocks the wind out of you. Oh, Captain Brommel's going to step forward and attack. Uh, that's a potential hit. And that is a failed dodge. He thrusts his sword into the torso. For four. Uh, he tries to thrust his sword into the torso, but you can see it does not even get through his skin. He's just like, what? Spot. Uh. Well, Orn's lifting off, so <laughs> it's 
what's gonna Ooh. be up on my yard. Yeah, that's it. Okay, on. In wretch, um, well, first off, fallout defense, move us backwards this time. And then in wretch, I'm going to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, might as well. I'm gonna go here and make an all-out attack. Yeah. Right out. Let's. I'm gonna do the plus four. This thing's standing, looking away from me, right? Uh, yeah. You do uh, see okay. his ears twitch, though, as you're approaching. He might still try and dodge it, just a huge penalty. Okay, then I'm going to... Just four. I'm going to take that plus four and make it deceptive. Just gonna stab him in the heart. Radio. Two levels of deceptive. Yeah, two levels of deceptive. And vitals. Plus four, minus seven, net of minus three. Yes. Success. He needs to beat a seven to dodge. Wow. I'm sorry. That son of a bitch. It's just like, huh. Not today. As if. Roll 20 really hates you guys. Okay, he's getting restless. But he is finally on his horse enough on his own. And then he can turn around. Just like, mm. Oh, these guys never chased after you on last turn, so technically got two turns of move for them as well. How are you doing, Sigmund? Still creeping off uh, down uh, the hill? Yeah. I, I mean, that's a fight Sigmund didn't want to fight. Seems smart, honestly. <laughs> it's it's almost like he's a tactician. Okay. <laughs> so, two people attacking him. It feels like Jakku's more dangerous, though. So, gonna step to here. Uh, Mecca. One level of deceptive, and also from the side, potential success. No, it's not. Ah, stupid peripheral vision. So, one level is a deceptive? Just a minus one to active defense. This club. Ooh. You may dodge acrobatically. Somersault. I was thinking more like cartwheel. Cartwheel. Ulrich, you may roll HT to attempt to recover from stun. Minus something? Uh, no. Think I do? Make it? Yeah. You've recovered from stun. Really? <sighs> uh, the captain is gonna go for it again but this time he's gonna go all out and from the side and he's gonna thrust for the vitals uh, and he potentially does it 
And he hits. Let's see if he can actually get through the armor this time. Oh, wow. No. He tickles his nipple with his sword. Spot. Uh, take one step back here towards this rock, and I'm gonna start uh, aiming at the big guy. Righty oh. Oh no, what are you gonna do to that big guy? I had my eyes off spot for too long, and now I'm about to lose everything. On. You know what? In this instance, I am gonna just bail. Um. Smart. It's not a TPK uh, if two characters run away. Three. <laughs> Tabra's still living. Tabra's still living. Four uh, meters up, one backwards. Roydio, shouting anything? I uh, last round I said I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this round I'm gonna say I didn't realize. <laughs> Jacku. <laughs> All right, we're taking a step up here. Okay. We are going to do this deceptively. It's technically here because he had to retreat on his last turn and I never moved him, but not ah. much difference. Okay, in case we will step here. Is that where I just was? I think it is where you just were. Oh. Perfect. We'll step here. Side attack. Well. Add two level. One level of deception. One level of. Should have gone with two. That's still a hit. He would have dodged there this time. Or tried to. Oh wow, 11 cutting. Wow, that's max damage. Nice. <coughs> Radio. That's the first wound that that one's taken, correct? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure, yeah. He's been poked twice by this guy, but he hasn't actually hurt him yet. Okay, big guy. He's gonna turn and swing his sword at you, Jakku. Uh, and that is a critical failure. Nice! Well, critical miss table roll coming up. 14. You stumble. <laughs> so he advanced towards you one step, but overswung. And is now facing away from you. And is behind you. No, no, wait, yeah, no, there you go. That's perfect. He, he just, he swung in a 180. Completely biffed it. Holy hell. The rider, like, grabs the reins on his horse. And it's just like, ugh. Dracula! All right, this guy just got slashed brutally. He's going to move straight back two yards. Uh, this one's... Oh, yes, attack from the side versus the captain. This is going to be delicious. Oh, the captain dodges it like a complete bellend. Uh, so, yeah, that's the one with the bone sword coming in, swinging at the captain, who deftly steps away. 
the others are gathering up, trying to form a bit of a wall. Yeah, that looks nice. Ulrich, you can start getting to your knees. Uh, am I able to take one step? Uh, yeah. He sees Jaku fighting this massive thing that he was afraid of. He feels ashamed of that because uh, this Usagi is taking it with so much heart that he steps forward and starts singing. They can wait the sun as he <laughs> gives Jaku plus five to hit him. No, uh, I think it's plus. Yes, plus five to hit him. Wow, roll me singing. I succeed. God succeed. damn. Yes. Yep. Success by 17. How did you give him a plus five? Uh, I'm actually curious. Oh, uh, this is the song. It's a... Uh, a Ritual. A stone arrow, yada, yada, yada. That's why I had gotcha. to get... Yeah. okay. That's to... what I was curious. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I was just... I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, uh-huh. Then, then I remember that's actually what almost got us to a fight on the first session, literally, first session. <laughs> that's what it almost got me killed. Oh, he doesn't look like looks of this. He's going to step back and take an all-out defense um, spot. Let's see if my throwing arm is good. Throwing knife. It's a potion. You sound a bit alien at minutes, but. Oh, sorry. I need to try to fix it. Better now? It sounds fixed. Uh, let me use my luck on this. Okie dokie. I'll take the six. Yep. Ah, oh, he, he can't dodge that. Well, why don't his back? Sploosh. I mean, what's his size modifier? Uh, it's just a plus one. Oh, then uh, I hit because I have a plus one for aim from aiming. Radical. Oh, with a 13. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it blankets a uh, seven-yard radius with the sleeping gas. Oh wow! But it excludes it, it excludes everyone in our party except the captain because I they didn't know him. <laughs> <made the ocean. laughs> Time for some HT checks. Thankfully, I've got hard to subdue. Let's uh, start at the top and work his way down. It's a contest. Let me make my roll. Where is my alchemy? Bam. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh wow. Oh dear. Okay, a margin of four. The rider fails. A margin of seven. Fails. Margin of six fails. Margin of six fails. Wait, no, margin of two fails. Wow. Margin of three fails. Margin of zero fails. And the captain. Uh, negative one failure. <laughs> uh, the big guy. Thankfully. Uh, and this is inhalation based, correct? Or is it... No, it's just legit magic, in it? It's yeah, just, it's magic. It's just legit magic. Damn you, magic. Why didn't I take magic resistance on him? Hey, yo, we... Come on. Come on, boy. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Demon wipe. So clustered. What was I thinking? <laughs> rage quit I rage quit immediately <laughs> uh, 
I may as well uh, roll for the horse as well. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh! Yes! The horse is totally fine. <laughs> Nay. And it like rears. The rears. horse is gonna go ahead, come along and just wipe you all. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, my mind is blown at my idiocy. My foolishness. I'm so sorry <laughs> all the people as bloodthirsty as me. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, Spot, you just made my list, Spot. You've been doing so well, <laughs> acting all scared, just making boner pills for people. <laughs> I hope you're happy, Obscuro, you're on the list. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>
hello, hello, hello. We are back. A quick recap of what just happened. A huge fight breaks out with a demonic envoy and troops. Things look like they're about to all go to shit when suddenly Spot throws a potion that he critically succeeded on when making and oh, lights out for everyone. They were clustered. He hit everything. we in seven yards of the big guy and down they go. It excludes everyone in his party, so these guys are safe. What does your magical spell look like? Any particular effect spot? Uh, it looks like a... kind of a flowery pollen. Stuff. Oh. That sounds familiar, honestly. Less yeah, moldy, I imagine. Less moldy. <laughs> and yeah, they yeah. all... Yeah falls straight asleep. Uh, the big guy slumps forward against his sword. These ones slump against the knees. The horse is still upright, but the rider you can see slumped against the neck. Did, did that work? I think Jaku's gonna... Saunter on up and uh not before I rink. scream at you. Uh oh, someone's bleeding. I forget how much bleeding damage is, it's at least that though. Uh hammer guy got cut to the neck. Trying to keep track of things. But are you walking around poking swords through people's skulls, Jakku? Yes. Uh... Uh, yeah, I don't need rolls from you to kill these guys. The skin is tough. A couple of times I think you end up sawing through necks if you're going for decaps. Yeah, actually, uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was kind of, like, poke around on them and see if there was, like, some place where the skin was thinner. <clears throat> Let's to dissect them. I don't want to dissect them. I just want to, like, well, what would you call poke them in them places and see if it goes in easier. <laughs> it's, uh, you know... May I make an out-of-character recommendation? Uh, that, that feels like it would be biology, though. Sorry, continue. Well, but, go on with your experimentation. See what you can do, uh, find out about these guys, and we just extrapolate to the others. But these, we just leave them alone. Uh, I'm not sure if Orin can... Oh, I think those were the message. two people that Jakku kills first, like... Now, hear me out on a character. If we leave them alone with the note that Orin can make, maybe we can still have a diplomacy chance? Unless you want to burn no, the there's bridge. no way at this point. Oh, it's... Okay, they well, kill them. We're cattle to them. There is okay, no okay. negotiation. I past know this point. that. I'm just wondering if you want, still want that diplomacy option, then leave those. But if not, just kill them. It ended oh. with there was the first stab. There is no. Jaku goes poke, poke, poke. Uh, the eyes are definitely soft. Okay. Uh, the sword pushes through an eyeball and into the brain as easily as any other person's. At least on this guy's. No, well, I'm going to keep trying it. Uh, Sigmund, you've definitely heard that the battle's stopped up there. <laughs> cool. I got I that was happen. And you heard Orn shouting something in Usagi at Jakku, presumably, unless anyone else has <laughs> showed up. Uh, Top's gonna try and Spot is gonna try and stop Jakku from uh killing the the diplomat. 
Radio, the rider. Yeah. A weird. I imagine if you like just dragged him off his horse or something. Spot. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll or uh, Jacko even. Were you going for the diplomat first? The one who you stabbed in the back through the chink in his oh, arm? Oh, I, I was probably going down the line, now that I think about it. Okay, so, yeah. Like, I think Jakku would have started with the big, big guy. Cause he was a big threat. And then, yeah, just boom, 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 mm, boom. You might still be trying the big guy. Maybe he's where I find out the eye thing. Uh, big guy's eye is not so soft. Oh. Yeah. I'm shocked he even has any eyes. But Spot, you're uh, you're working on this guy here. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll drag him off the horse. At least try to keep him out of... Because the horse is awake. Uh... No eyes on the horse at all, just empty sockets. Kind of turns. We a should bit. put the damn horse down. Well, paws at the ground. I, I don't really care about the horse, you can kill it. <laughs> animal cruelty. Demonic undead animal cruelty. I'm just fuming over here. Seething. That little crystal is seething at you. You know what I keep always forgetting to do? Those guys are all size modifier zero, right? Yeah, that. so you get a plus one in melee combat. You actually yeah. get a plus three with a horse. Horse is a size modifier two. That one's on the high end, a size modifier two. Yeah, I think you're gonna chop that horse's head off in one swoop, most likely. Unless you critically fail damage. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that horse's head comes right off. I just pulled a Sandor again, except I'm Aria size. Yeah, Aria size. <laughs> Mountain maneuver. <laughs> it's the anime style, like a, and then the head just. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, so, Orn, you see then, Ulrich, you're back at your feet, rubbing your belly, probably. That uh. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna heal myself up unless anybody else needs a uh, heal, or was I uh, again the only one? down. I think it was just you. Okay, healing up. Unless you wanted to heal any of these uh, demons for me. No, they eat people. Not even we do. <laughs> Fair dues. Uh, yeah. These guys are all snoring, the ones that haven't been killed yet. Uh, this guy, not so much snoring. As humming like a deep hmm, growl. Orin, just to stare at Jakku. Like, my eyes probably grow glowing, like, purple or red or something. In anger. People know about... Uh... Orn, it's quite clear that these guys as weapons are made either partially out of Stygian iron or entirely. This bloke's entire suit of armor and sword appear to be Stygian iron. Alright, we'll take that later because I can sell it for a profit, but all of that. But for now, I have to... Can I track the captain out of the smoke and bring him with us or carry him over my shoulder? 
Yeah, he's easy to pick up. There's no smoke or anything. Okay. Left. He's just snoozing peacefully. I'll how... equip the captain. How long will that last? Like, uh... Minutes equal to margin? Jagu, we... you haven't killed him yet. Yeah, I'm no. trying to. I think Spot's trying to protect him from you, and you've definitely not managed to kill the big guy yet, I don't think. Oh, really? Uh, the potion if... for an hour. Oh, radio. And if you're starting on the big guy, then you'd have not moved on to anyone else yet, either. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, how, how do you want to go about it? Uh, killing the big guy? Yeah. Uh, he's huge. Can I take his helmet off? Face down. Uh, you could definitely start trying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it takes a while, but at this point, you've just managed to yank the helmet off past his horns. Uh, it looks like his horns have grown a lot since the helmet were put on. Oh. Oh, that sucks. And he has not Literally. got any eyes. Uh. Oh, I slipped the sword into his mouth and just, like, push. Right, yo. He's got huge fangs in his gob there. Big, long tongue. His skin is like a deep, burnt umber. And. Yeah, okay, you're just jabbing that sword in there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he would die. His skin's okay. still incredibly tough. It takes you a good five minutes to start chopping into that guy until you're satisfied that he's dead. When there's just no face left, it's disgusting. Okay. And then, yeah, once I get there, I'm gonna start going down the line and sticking the rest of them. Mm -hmm. The tough skin co covers every part of these. They do look similar to him. Uh, like, as if he's just a bigger version of one of them or something. Okay. But these have got kind of normal eyes, whereas he just had sockets that burnt red while he were awake. Okay. But oh. eyeballs on these pop easy. Spot? Did I delete that guy? No, I think you did. Yeah, I was just wondering if you were hiding him by laying on top of him or something. Uh, yeah, does anyone have rope? Mm, I do. And he gives you a 3 by 4 uh... Ten yards of it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna tie up this guy. Radio, you got not tying? No. I think it defaults off IQ. Probably IQ minus four. Yeah, I think you, he's tied up pretty good. If you were tied up same, you wouldn't be able to get out of it. And I imagine you've taken his axe off him, at least. Yeah, I take his weapons. Uh, his helmet will not come off without chopping off parts of his head. It's been on that long. Uh, I'll start chopping off parts of his head. Ow! You might be able to take off most of his armor, but probably not his mail. Uh, may, out of character. Maybe Orin can eat it? Why? Eat it. Eat so that it. she can get the metal for whatever 
cell or melting she would need? I think Orn mostly eats oxides. No, I'm not sure if that was an ox or something that could be possible. That Astesian iron is its own mineral. Astesium. Hmm. Probably poisonous to the Thorians. I reckon it's poisonous to everyone. Lead style. Hmm. On. Still just too angry for words right now. I'm trying to figure out how I can resolve this situation. So I'm con sitting there contemplating. Um, Jakku's reaching the guy that you've got tied up spot. Jakku, are you going to try oh. and murder that man? Oh yeah. You've... Thank you, you've made this much easier. No. Bad bunny. No. <laughs> Is that where it ends? No. <laughs> uh we are gonna make this decept two. Oh dear God! What are you talking about? Stab. <laughs> uh, you can attempt to sacrificial dodge, I suppose. There, spot. Yeah, if you want to get yourself stabbed. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I want to get chopped in half. I reckon you could. Push him out of the way. Just a plus one oh. instead of a plus three for pushing him out of the way rather than a uh, jumping in front of the sword. So it's a dodge plus one? Yeah, dodge plus one. You may Let's expend smile. an FP. But it's deceptive two. Uh, but it's deceptive two, so yeah. <laughs> Why did you deceptive and unconscious person? Because he knew that I... Spot would try and save it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's been an FP. Oh! <laughs> uh, you kind of fairly far down the hill now, Sigmund, uh, and a few of the men are starting to stand up and, like, start to kind of jog and sprint a bit. Do you join him? I mean, what, can you repeat that for me, sorry? Uh, the men that were retreating down the hill with you uh, uh -huh. have started jogging away and sprinting now, just south. I mean, no big reason for me to run. I'm just heading back towards my dog. Radio then. Uh, damn you, Spot. What's stopping you from trying again? I'm gonna yell at him, Inusagi. You stop it right now, you blustering fool! They were eating sentient people. And I had negotiated with them so they wouldn't attack another city for at least a foreseeable future so we could get our bearings. But you screwed it all up, you fool. They needed to die. He needs to die. I might be able to salvage this and then save an entire country if you don't. Looks like He's alive just... for information. Don't kill him. Is anybody gonna fast talk? I mean, 
You're not going to listen anyway. I, uh, I can try. Nope. <laughs> If James Hello. wants to be fast talked, that's his prerogative. But normally I don't hold players accountable to. Do you think it is honorable to keep attacking while they cannot fight back? Mental suggestion. This isn't about honor, this is about not dying. You nearly got Ulrich killed. It's something that Ulrich could point out with his fast talk. Yeah, you nearly got me killed. We were supposed to just get out on skate. On skate? On skate. Uh. Jaku will clean his sword off, sheathe it, step back egg for now. Hmm, okay. Big guy is dead. Pool of black blood spreading out from his mangled head. Same for all these losers that have had swords through their eyes. Are you all just sitting here, other than Sigmund? Uh, <clears throat> once everybody's ready, I'll follow everybody back. I'm just carrying Sleepy Captain. <coughs> Spot, can you carry him? Yeah, they can. Right, but... Let's go to the two trees. They... The others will probably expect him to be back. Yeah, that's why we're going to the two trees. Okay. I, I'm carrying the guy under my umbrella. Uh, how much can you carry? You can probably drag him at least. Uh, I have 11 strength. 11 strength, let's see. I can help. I can probably drag him, he's not gonna... Yeah, you can drag him. You're not moving very fast, but you can drag him. And... Uh, I'm guessing he's not got his axe or shield anymore. And did you take off any of the armor? It's significantly easier to drag him when you take off his boots and chest plate and greaves. Uh, yeah, I'll probably take them off if, if it makes it easier. I mean, we could also not... We could just leave them here. I got an idea, but I think everyone else needs to skedaddle except for me and Spot. Does it involve high lies? No. Just... Diplomacy. They'd probably not be happy with this situation right here. No. They won't. Time to slaughter the cattle. Hey, if I could uh, find a spot to brew a potion. Raise his memory for this entire day. Can you? Yeah. Do a potion? Yeah, but uh, I need a, uh, I need a dark spot. I'll hold your umbrella, man. Do it. <laughs> no, it's not enough. It has, to, it has to be dark. Like bitch dark. Or super dark, at least. Yeah. I kind of like it most. Uh, it's in nearby caves. 
Can I roll a geology or something? Er, roll me a geology quick. Wouldn't locate any caves, but it'd tell you if this type of rock's likely to have cave formations about. Yeah, this type of rock exactly has a tendency to form cavernous holes in it in certain places. Uh, so there's this probably some kind of cave nearby. One of the uses of natural is to find the natural caves. Oh, snap. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, so between the two of us, we can find it. Mm -hmm. In about 30 minutes, looking at various rocks, looking at the shape of the land, you spot what would be a suitable cave off in the distance. <coughs> All right, once Is... we're in there, get to work on the potion. Mm -hmm. So you two are heading that way, dragging the body. Jakku, do you go back to town? And Ulrig, are you following Jakku? Uh, yeah, he's going to leave them, and he's bringing the captain. Radio. And... Depending on how fast you move, Jakku, you'd definitely catch up with Sigmund. But it, it wouldn't take you long to get back to the town. Uh, let's head back to the overworld map quickly. Before we head in the cave, I'll yell to Aurig. Aurig, you're gonna have to get people to clean up this mess. We can't let him see it. Um, as he's moving back, uh, he stops, thinks about it, and then turns to the spot. What do you want me to do with it? Eat it? Uh... Hide the body somewhere. Oh. Oh, all right. I'll Take their equipment into town. Put it in the cart. I'll figure out what to do with it later. Hide the bodies. I'll bring the cart and then br get the bodies into the forest. No, don't bring the cart. Uh, I don't think I can carry all of them in one trip. Especially the big one. No, hide the bodies, burn them, whatever. Take the equipment. I think just his armor weighs a couple of hundred pounds. Wow. Take a horse. Yeah, get get some soldiers to help you. Okay, I'll get the general, the the captain back, and then I'll bring the soldiers so that they can help me with all that. Audio. Okay. Okay, a bit of a split up. I think it's probably a good time for another quick break at this point while I catch my bearings All right. and while players decide what they're about to do and it also probably gives spot a chance to make a magic spell but we will be right yeah. back in five minutes or so
Hello, hello, hello. We are back again. Uh, so, Sigmund, you're arriving mm. into town. Oh. Uh, where are you heading? Straight up to the wagon? Yeah. Where my daughter is. Tabriel, you know. Well, how did the situation transpire? And Leah's like, did you, so is it demons? It's demons. Uh, fight broke out. Oh. I decided not to partake. Uh -huh. As to whether or not it was successful, Jakku was literally running by me or something, right? Uh, yeah. I think Jakku, you'd probably be appearing at the car about now. Mm-hmm. I was with him, right? Carrying the captain? Yeah, Sigmund, you're not... <gasps> oh, no, Sigmund, Ulrich, you're not far behind with the captain over your shoulder. Apparently they were able to handle such things. Huh. Well, where are Orn and Spot? He shrugs. I don't know. I'm guessing you explain, Ulrich. Uh, he's gonna lay the body down, and he's just gonna look at them. Are you, are you, just, are you just walking a demon body? He's gonna say, Brave, brave Six Sigmund, he bravely run away. The demons came, and all we fight, the rabbit went ahead. And he was gonna relate everything. Sigmund just kind of looks at you, <laughs> looks at the body, then looks back at you. Do you have any idea what you just started? <sighs> Do you have any idea at all? I... Nothing I have not started. I won't let my anger get the better of me. You? Go on about your life. You will not get the anger the better of you. And Ulrich just brings down the, the axe. You left us to die! You fought a foolish fight against demons and sparked the war. Uh, can I roll a bad temper? He's really pissed off at him. Sure, yeah, you, sh off. you should roll bad temper. He's really trying to control himself because he saw you as an ally and he likes your companion, a uh, tiny person. Okay. <laughs> what, what does he do? He's holding up. He's like grasping the axe really, 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 really tight, like uh, enough to like uh, uh, start to press up a little blood on it on the hand. But like he loose, uh, he is missing some touch, so he doesn't notice yet. Put that down before you make a mistake. A we second. have no time. We need to go back and move the bodies before something worse happens. Now get the carriage and help me. And he says that to Sigmund and the other <laughs> he guys. He makes no move. You say that he doesn't do a fucking thing. Go on about your life. Uh, the guards who were gathered around, we uh, just go like, oh, I don't think so. We're uh -huh. headed straight for Aesilbor. Look at the town. Only people left are those that can't stand up to leave their houses. Uh, you want a diplomacy? Uh, or a uh, fast talk? How are you, how are you doing that? The, well, he the... is telling them the same thing that he told you. This is no time to waste and fight. You need to come with me and help. We need to move those bodies before something worse happens. And can... bring that carriage with them. Definitely make a diplomacy check. Uh, okay. To try and help yourself. We... Success by two. two. What are them? Just uh, as you explain more, he's just like, no, no, we're all gonna die if we stay here. I'm going as far south as I can. South and east. No chance. It's not happening. You find me in war game here. And as he's leaving, his mates are also looking pretty scared as well. Just like, uh. We could take a car up. Not yours, it doesn't have to be. We'll move the bodies, we'll bring them back here. But then we're leaving as well. Good. That's all we need. And he's gonna 
bring them to the spot where they need to move the bodies and do what Orin and Spot told them to do. So you you set back up a north way, the wagon. It's uh, got two horses pulling it, and there's two guards go here. Jacku, what about you? Are you going to help with that? Carriage. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Sigmund. I'm staying with my daughter. Uh, okay. So you're just staying in town for now. Yeah. While well, they get their, well, well, they patch up all that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sigmund can't contribute it. Right. So. Oh no, he's made his choice. Uh... Pain is issue. You arrived at this cave about ten minutes before all that just happened. Uh, Orn and Spot. Okay. Uh, how long does it take to make that potion of forgetting things? Are you just diving straight on into this cave? <laughs> Gonna take a look inside, big, see if it's safe not currently occupied <laughs> give me vision any perception you like at the least <laughs> bless you thank you uh it seems clear yeah no you can't see anyone uh, you can hear water running in the far distance, echoing faintly back to your present position on. Uh, it's like a fairly large opening at first that narrows and starts twisting and turning. And then it kind of opens up and looks like it could go in lots of different directions. Well, Receive... we don't need to be that far in. We just need to... Yeah, no. It... <coughs> it's where it's dark enough. Mm -hmm. And it, it seems empty you definitely don't see anything there's lots of stalactites and stalagmites and you see purple gems glittering in veins in the walls well while he's making the potion and I'm thinking about it I'm going to gnaw on the gemstones in the walls right here tasty yeah, I'll take a look to see if he's bleeding out or something uh Oh, yeah. No, he seems to have stopped bleeding. Even though he got stabbed in the vitals, he doesn't look that badly hurt. Okay. The wound's still there. It's not healed or anything. But it's not bleeding anymore. Warn. Uh, it's going to take me one hour, a little bit more, to make How the potion. How long is your knockout potion going to last? Um... One hour. He is. Maybe he's going to wake up before I'm done. All right, I'll sit by him. Hurry. No, okay. the body's right next to us, right? Uh, no, them two are in a cave alone with that no. one guy. Okay. It wasn't so a body. It was the captain guard. Oh, the captain. Okay. He uh he was just asleep uh, from the poison, po potion, potion yeah yeah potion. He's okay. just asleep. He'll wake up at about the same time as the demon does. Well, hurry up with that potion, please. One can roll the energy gathering. Uh, you'll probably be. Or how much energy is it? 33. 33. Uh, yeah, go on then. Uh, let's see if this is going to work. Ooh, have you been building a macro? Oh, it doesn't show the roll. Uh, I don't like it. I'm going to just roll the 3d6. Effective skill is 16. I have, uh, uh, what's it called? Perk, natural alchemist. Okay, I see. So, yeah, I know, you rolled a 12 there, but because it were inside something else, it, yeah. It's a nuisance uh, when roll 20 does that. What? No, no. Uh, the natural alchemist perk allows me to 
brew without the the kit. Oh, uh, okay. No, I, I was just talking about how it didn't show the roll. Apologies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, somehow it doesn't show it, but just uh, 16 minus 3 to 6, and it didn't show the roll. Mm. Four energy so gathered. Yeah. Uh, now I rolled a nine, so that's uh, seven. Eleven energy gathered. And six more. Seventeen energy gathered. Uh, now it's versus a fifteen. Plus five. I lost count. Will we at seventeen? <laughs> Twenty-two. <laughs> Twenty-two. Ooh, made it on the nose, just one energy. Uh, 23. Three. Uh, <laughs> 24, 25. 24. 24. Yeah, now it's uh, versus 14. Plus 3. 27. Plus 4. Uh, 31. And there's 2 to go. That's enough. Hey, oh. hey oh. Oh, the potion is ready. Do, 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 do. Uh, so what goes about in the the place he's is looking at? He takes out his uh, personal basics. He grabs his favorite spoon <laughs> and he starts shuffling the ground. Like he grabs some roots, uh, a little bit of earth. And he starts mushing things together, kind of making a little bit of a whistly fart noises. And yeah, after about an hour, he he has this kind of a uh, jelly liquid that's neatly packed inside a a wrapping of leaves. Feed it to him quick. We need his memory wiped by the time he wakes up. Uh, it sounds nice. Uh, he might well have woken up. Yeah. yeah, have you got any more of them knockout potions there? Spot. No, that was the only one. <laughs> it was my gears. Oh, uh, no. Y'all did. This might be a good time to about wrap up this session I think <laughs> unfortunately uh, no, that's, that's good I, I, I see it like we're we're wrapping down it's getting close to the credits spots brewing a potion and his eyes open yeah or, except he doesn't have eyes dramatic song they glow red I think Tabra accompanied you north to the bodies in the cart. He may have decided to communicate mentally with Orn or Spot around about this very moment. But I, Spot, you're putting the finishing to put touches on that, wrapping it in the leaves. And Orn, I imagine you're just staring at this uh, slumped, roped up demon person. Watching for movement. Yeah. Yeah. The eyes light up, glowing, burning red. And he just starts screaming, And then the credits roll. Uh, subtitles, please. Uh, Y'all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you done goofed. Do you have change for this? No chance for this. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. We were the Cobalt Cafe. I was Luke, the GM. In no particular order, once again. Our players were Simon. Uh, Sigmund did the smart thing, but sorry, it took you out of play for a while. No, it was fine with me. It's cool. It, it was the smart thing to do. <laughs> uh, but yes, I'm Simon. You can find me by screaming into your own butt for 15 minutes. I'll crawl out of it. Nice. We had Terra.
Yep, uh, I was Orn. Uh, you can catch me personally uh, on Twitter at Jade Gear and uh, read some of my comics and stuff at nirvanacomic.com. How, how, how's Orn feeling? I'm really mad. <laughs> Orn's really She's mad. livid. James? I was Jaku. I am James. And Jackie's kind of nonplussed. Wow. No, no, actually, he's he's kind of hot. He's ready for more battle. Well, we had ever off. Hi, I was Ulrich trying to be the tank for the session uh, until Spot so graciously saved the day. You, you did take the most damage. You did tank all the hits. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. Good job. I, I just realized that uh, since armor does not uh, actually impair my singing, I could actually be a armored knight bard. Y so yeah. I'm gonna go look forward for it. Armor oh. all around, pretty oh. good if you're not trying to. That Steege and iron armor is kind of a bit too big for a human, but you know it, it might almost fit a bear. But it's enough to get refitted as well. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, he was the only one wearing our armor, so we'll see what happens. Awesome. And finally, we had the one who saved everyone's life, but it's to be seen whether he can save... Um, his own life. Ten million more on his own life, yeah. <laughs> say, it. say it. Oh, I've got to say it. Yep. Yeah. Z Warrior uh, was playing Resident Mushroom, Obscuro Coccinaeus, Cornucopioides, Algoneo, Viridescence, Tremolo Dendro, Spatistro, Bilomyces. Yeah, pretty a true good. verse from the deep. <laughs> oh, you're getting yeah. good at that. Mm -hmm. You could call him Spot, Obscuro, Double Boner, because he's got multiple genitals. <laughs> he don't like that one. It might, I don't know. But, uh, have I missed anyone? We would normally have had Jared, but again, he's away having a, some kind of life. I'm not sure what that is, really. So how he's going to come back to this. But, uh, yeah, at the very latest, we'll be back on Monday with a game run by Terra, set in space, where I did pretty much what James did in this session, in the last session. <laughs> <laughs> But they were only security guards, not... Podcast coming. Demons. Still editing things. Uh, it's still available on Twitch, if you want to catch up. Catch the raw file, the non-edited down. Uh-huh. Th there's a edit out all your accidental swears. <laughs> not even editing out the accidental swears, it's mostly editing out all the stuff no unnecessary. <laughs> but, yep. Oh. Be back Monday for the raw video. Uh huh. And I think we'll be back Friday. But if you want to keep very up to date in case we run an extra session, you can always follow us on Twitter at Cobalt Cafe. Thanks very much for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.